guys welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new hi my name is Femke and in today's video it is time for my second Halloween nail art design already I'm starting quite early this year because spooky season can't start too early in my opinion as you can see I'm totally like vamped up already because it is one of my favorite times of year but for today's design I'm actually still wearing it right now it is an orange and black like different types of orange polishes drag marble i've also adhered a beautiful big like embellishment to it but all of the items that i have used for this design i will talk about during the entire tutorial and of course if you feel like it definitely grab your own nail supplies and paint your nails together with me but yeah i'm just gonna quit rambling I really hope you like it. Definitely let me know in the comments section down below what you think about Halloween. Are you going to do your nails like super spooky and stuff this time of year? Definitely let me know in the comments section down below. And yeah, of course, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so. Hit that notification bell as well and become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching on forehand. I love you so, so much. And I hope to see you in my next video as well. So let's get into this Halloween spooky tutorial. I am loving this season so much. As you might have already noticed in my intros lately, I just like a vampy, spooky kind of look when it comes to makeup, clothing, but also nails, of course. So yeah, I am first of all showing you the base that I used, which was by Trend It Up, and I used Vanta Black by Starly as well. Um, this polish was actually sent out to me by Starly like two years ago or something like that. I have used it ever since because it is one of my favorite and best blacks. And then I also, of course, as I mentioned in the intro, used four orange colors, which is Xyler the Cat by Holo Taco. This one is such a beautiful polish. It has a beautiful like orangey like clear base I'd say and a ton of holographic glitters in there. Then I'm using Catrice's 114. This one is also really gorgeous. It is actually one I just recently reviewed so check it out if you're feeling like watching the other colors from the new collection by Catrice but it is just a gorgeous orangey red color. Then next up I have two orly shades as as well this one is called kitsch you later it is a little bit of like a brighter orange not really like per definition fall like orange but i felt like it went really well with the other orange colors and me as a dutch girl i just love orange polishes like seriously the most bright one is actually tangerine dream this one is even more bright more neon than the previous one and i just really really love it like when you look at pumpkins like the traditional beautiful orange pumpkins they have a ton of different like shades of orange as well and that is pretty much the vibe i wanted to go with for this particular design and of course the venta black by starly is just like spot on i love it it is definitely one of the best black polishes that i have tried so far and yeah it's just oh it's really good if you ever get the chance to purchase this one or get your hands on this one one way or another definitely do so because it is such a good black but what you want to do of course i have on forehand applied my base as i showed you which one i used as well as one coat of the vanta black then after that is completely dry i'm going in with another layer of vanta black and while that is still wet i'm just dunking in some blobs of the different colors polish and i am using a ball and needle you can use a toothpick or something like that as well if you don't have like a ball and needle or any type of needle or you're just thinking it's a little bit too creepy and freaky to use a needle on your nails of course don't press it into the nail you know that makes pretty much a lot of sense to me but i'm just putting it out there be careful when using like sharp stuff like needles or scissors or anything like that but using a toothpick is definitely fine too to do this drag marble i love doing drag marbles like now 
like doing this voiceover and actually have shot the footage for this video it brings back so many memories of when i just started doing youtube like nail art videos because you know actually my website my blog just had its 11th anniversary it's insane i've been doing this since 2010 and yeah, I just still love it so much. But doing a design like this really brought me back to when I was just starting out and actually just starting doing nail art videos, which is like three and a half years ago, like almost four years ago already. And I love doing designs like these, especially adding some bling and gems and just a oh, rhinestone heaven to my nails which is what I'm going to do in this design and video as well. If you want me to do more like old school Femke Chet designs like this, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I have missed it so much and I really want to get back into doing more like super easy to do affordable designs as well. Just let me know in the comments down below because I'm getting really, really hyped up, really excited. And yeah, I am adding some beautiful gems to my nails. So I actually just waited for like 5 towards 10 minutes before going in with that H&M top coat, which I'm actually using to adhere my gems as well. Yes, people, please don't use nail glue to adhere gems to your natural nails because it can be quite damaging when you want to remove it afterwards. Of course, if you are going to remove it properly, you can totally use like nail glue to adhere them to make them last longer. But for me personally, a good top coat like a really thick kind of glossy top coat does the job as well and I rarely lose any gemstones even with my very manual job so yeah I'm just going to do like a five piece gem placement to the thumb around the cuticle area of course you can do so if you feel like it if you don't like gems that is totally an option as well you don't have to apply them but I just felt like these crystals or gems however you want to call them just really suit the design they're kind of like a coppery kind of metallic looking crystal and yeah you can get them for like so like inexpensive affordable it's insane at aliexpress i usually get a ton of my gems at aliexpress anyways um, definitely check out my AliExpress like unboxing kind of uh, playlist as well if you're interested in that. I'm actually trying to see if I still have some packages that I can actually share with you guys that I've just recently bought because I really haven't bought much from AliExpress lately but maybe I can like grab some stuff I actually purchased the last six months because yeah it's been that long since I've actually done an AliExpress video or unboxing or haul or something like that so yeah let me know if you're curious to see anything like unboxing aliexpress like when it comes to crystals because i have ordered some crystals so yeah let me know if you want to see it but yeah let's get back into this design because i'm rambly i'm all over the place that's just what happens whenever i get really excited and that's exactly what happens when doing videos like these and designs like these but yeah for the pointer finger i did the exact same thing apply a little bit of the vanta black then go in with the four orange tones and just swirl it around with my little ball and needle wait for like five towards 10 minutes to get it like really tacky it doesn't have to be fully dry before going in with your top coat and then i'm just going to add one crystal towards the cuticle area for the pointer finger what i would like to give as a big like tip if you want to make sure your crystal is in the center make sure to look at the nail from different angles so definitely just twist your little like wrist around and just look at your nails from the other side or just a couple of different angles because that really helps to determine whether or not it is exactly in the middle or wherever you want it to be. But yeah, I am going to adhere another like really big embellishment. It's like huge. It was quite heavy as well. So if you want to use a little bit of nail glue for this one, I totally understand. But I'm going to show you how to do this with the same top coat as I adhere the other gems as well. So you want to like apply 
a bit too much, like not that much that it's actually dripping off of the nail, but just apply a little more top coat than you would usually do and then just settle and press in that embellishment into that. You can still like move it around, of course, if you're going to like continue with the other nail, there are high chances that I, it will keep on moving like it did for me. As you can see here, it's kind of crooked. I'm just gonna level it out once again because it wasn't completely stuck on there yet. Since the top coat wasn't fully dry and hardened out, you can actually like maneuver a bit with it for like a couple of minutes before your top coat is completely dry. Of course, if you are using a quick dry top coat, do keep in mind to really like make sure that that embellishment is stuck on there before going into your other nails or anything else because it might dry like crooked on there and that's not what you want. Of course, if that is what you want, you can definitely do so. But I really wanted this one for me and my design in this particular video to be exactly in the middle. But yeah, then for the ring finger, I'm just going to do a similar gem placement like I did for the thumb and just keep the rest of the nail black just like I did for the middle finger one, just to tie in the design a little bit more. And yeah, then for the pinky, I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did for the pointer finger. I just skipped that part for like the drag marble itself because it's quite repetitive and I think you guys are smart enough and already have the hang of it and the idea on how to do this because it is so easy. The only tip that I would like to share is just to work quick because especially the Fenta Black is so highly pigmented, it dries super fast as well. So just make sure to work kind of quick or maybe practice on forehand on like a nail art mat or something like that. But yeah, this was the entire new design video. Definitely let me know what you think. If you're going to recreate it or anything like that, you can always send me a picture in a DM on Instagram. I will leave my handle and all of my information in the description box as always. But yeah, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And yeah, I just really want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. I love you so much and I hope to see you in my next video.